Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and welcome back to Unreal Engine 5.4. Now, this time around, we're going to be taking a look at some new Lumen reflection settings that were added in 5.4 Preview. So that being said, we're here in the Neo Cyberpunk Tokyo scene from the artist. I just have a character in a car to kind of showcase this a little bit better. So if we go to our post-process volume here on the right, I already have it selected. And if you select Lumen, first of all, one big change in 5.4 right now, you're gonna notice that deprecated ray tracing is no longer in this dropdown. All right, so that's gone. That's been deprecated since 5.1, but it used to be right here, which is the standalone. That's gone from this dropdown. Now, for the new settings to kind of take effect, like we've mentioned before, you need hardware ray tracing. So I'm currently using the laptop, so I might be a little bit laggy here, so I apologize for that. So right now we have Lumen Reflections. The quality has been there. The ray lighting, ray lighting mode, that's been there since 5.3. Uh, screen Traces is new. I have this set to disabled right now. The high quality translucent reflections, we've already had this. We've had this already before. Here's a new setting, Max Roughness to Trace. Max Reflection Bounce, we've had before. This one right here, the Max Refraction Bounces, this is new. So that's what we're kind of playing around with it here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and start cranking some settings here so you can see the difference. Um, if I turn on max refraction bounce, what this is gonna do is include the refraction in the calculation if you set this to more than zero. So to kind of show that, I'll set this to one. And immediately you're gonna notice that my signs right here, uh, it just kind of got a little bit brighter because it just got now included in the calculation. All right, so now this right here you're gonna have to play around with because I don't know if you're gonna want that effect. Granted, you can probably tweak it in the material to kind of tone it down a little bit, but automatically you're gonna notice that yes, we're getting more reflections on the car, but our, our signs are starting to blow out. So if I go again to lit and reflections, you're gonna see this even more so. So if I press zero, you're gonna see that our sign in the back are not included in the reflection lumen system, if you will. But as soon as you swap that to one, you're gonna get a bunch of reflections coming to your scene, but in the cost of some of them looking a little bit odd. All right, so if I set that to two, this is really going to even include a little bit more right here on the top left corner. I don't know why my mouse is kind of buggy, but again, this is a setting that you would probably want to be careful about and just do some tests. This is why I'm doing this right now, to kind of just test it out. Now, the next setting we're gonna be taking a look at is the max roughness to trace. Now, this setting right here is similar to the deprecated reflection setting, the standalone ray tracing reflections. Basically, what this is gonna do, the higher the setting that you use, the default is 0.4, the higher the setting, the more of your scene is gonna be calculated the more GPU it's going to use. With this one, again, I tend to kind of play around with this value here because to me, not everything needs to be calculated sometimes. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to set this to zero. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your scene look like poop because it's not using Lumen Reflections on everything that you've seen here. So if I go to Reflections, Lit, it looks dull, right? But as you go to like 0.5, now you're gonna get some reflections in there because now you're saying, hey, include this material, this model into the calculation. So if I go to lit, see my mouse is not showing up. So again, if I go to the reflections, we're gonna see this a lot better. So if I go at zero, nothing, 0.1, we're gonna start including some of the assets, meaning the, the texture material roughness we're starting to include. So the more we bring this up, the more it's gonna gather that data, the more it's going to use. And you can go to like one if you want to, or two, whatever. Play around again, it's just gonna use a lot more of your GPU here. Now the max reflection bounces, we've already covered this a long time ago, but now when you start adding a second bounce in there, you're gonna see right here, it's starting to look nice. Turn this off, turn this on, and now if I set the quality to four, now we're getting some nice, good reflections in there. And finally, we have our final image here. 
So again, if I set the max roughness to trace to the default point 0.4, you're going to see our scene is going to get darker because it's not including the, the uh, scene right here on the right side under the FPS. Sorry, my mouse is kind of wigging out right there. So you're going to have a lot more settings to play around with, obviously. But all of these new settings combined together were, would eventually give you a better result, right? Now, again, if you're trying to run a game, run this in runtime, all the settings I'm using here are for like cinematics, rendering, animation, whatever. Um, but again, play around with it yourself if you want. But yeah, but that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to showcase the new settings in Unreal Engine 5.4 Preview 1 when it comes to lumen reflections. That said, let me know what y'all think, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.